Hello everybody and welcome back to Learning at Home with Mrs. V. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare these pictures, these parts of a whole, to determine um, which one is the least and which one is the greatest. So we're gonna put them in order from least to greatest. Now here I said put them in increasing order. And remember we learned that increasing order means to put them from least to greatest. All right, so let's do a little bit of review. So remember, the numerator is the number up at the top, and it's the number of pieces used or taken. And then the denominator is the number at the bottom or down below. That means the total number in the whole thing, okay? All right, so we're gonna look at these pieces, and all of them have the same numerator. So every single one of them is one part of the whole, all right? So we've got half, we've got one fourth, we have one sixth, we have one third, and then we have one eighth, all right? So when I look at these pieces, I can tell right away which one is the smallest piece of the whole. The smallest piece is gonna be the one that is the least. And when I look at these, I notice that one eighth is the smallest. So I'm going to put that right here and then underneath it I'm going to go ahead and write one eighth. All right so that is the smallest piece of the whole. So then I'm going to take a look at the four pieces that are left and out of the four pieces that are left one sixth is the next smallest I'm going to put that right there, and then underneath I'm going to write one sixth. So one eighth is the smallest, and then one sixth. All right, I have three left here, and when I look at these, one fourth is going to be the next smallest. I'm going to move this piece out of the way. Here. All right, whoops, lost my tape. And one fourth. Then is the next. So that's kind of the, the middle, middle sized. All right. So we've got one eighth, one sixth, one fourth. Now we've got two left, and one third is going to come in next place. I keep losing my tape, so I'm going to just get a new piece here. All right. So then I have one third would be the next, and half would be the greatest or the largest piece of the whole. So then we have one half. All right, so I'm noticing something about my denominators. Now, because my numerators are all the same, it's um, easy to go ahead and see this and go ahead and make a statement about this. So since each one of these is just one piece out of, so this is one piece out of eight pieces. So if I were to draw that, it would look like this. And here is actually the whole thing with one piece taken out. Now here, there's the whole thing. And cutting this into six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here is one piece. So slightly bigger than here when I draw the whole. And that's not very even. There, that's better. There's one fourth. And here's one third. And you can notice the sizes when you draw the whole thing. You notice, you can see that the pieces are gradually getting larger. 
And then this one, we've got that amount. So when you actually draw the whole thing, and this is a little bit smaller, so let me redraw this one because I want it to be about the same size so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about when I tell you this next thing. Okay, all right, that's a bit better. Okay, and you can see that this is slightly larger. All right, so what I'm, what I'm noticing is the more pieces there are in the hole, if you just take one of them, you're getting a smaller piece each time. So here, you're getting a great big amount. Okay, so like if that was a pizza and you were eating half of it, you're getting quite a bit of the pizza. All right, one third, you're getting a little bit less of the pizza because now instead of two pieces, there are three pieces and you're only getting one of the three pieces. Here, you've got four pieces. You're only going to get one of the four pieces. So you're getting even a smaller amount, okay? And here, one sixth, you're getting the, there's even smaller pieces and you're only getting one of them. Here, one eighth, you're getting a smaller amount. So each time you're getting a smaller amount, as the number of pieces, as there's more pieces in the hole, when you only get one piece, you get a small amount. So the denominators, when there's more pieces, when there are more pieces in the whole pizza, the pieces get smaller. Okay, so when there's more, as the denominator gets larger, the bigger the, bigger the number in the denominator, the smaller the pieces are. Hmm, okay. All right, and this is kind of a, a picture representation of that. And then this is putting them in order from least, or the smallest piece, all the way to the biggest piece of the whole, okay? And remember when we had, I'll show you where I got this from. Remember when we had the whole thing and we put the pieces on there and we were determining equivalent fractions? Well, now we took those pieces to determine um, uh, comparing them from least to greatest, okay? All right, so remember, numerator and denominator, the number up at the top and the number down below, the number at the top tells us how many pieces are taken. The denominator tells us how many there are in the whole. Now we've determined with the denominator, the larger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. So we don't want a pizza with 100 pieces because you're gonna get only a little sliver. We would rather have maybe fourths or even halves because then we would get more amount of the pizza or the pie or whatever we were sharing. All right? All right. I want you to keep watching, keep thinking, always stay curious, and I'll see you next time.